welcome to my review of the Lord of Misrule candle from Lush and sorry I'm not behind the camera again but I'm still not feeling great so um, I'll give you some footage of my cat instead to make up for it because I know some of you like my cat Steve. There you go so instead of seeing me you get to see my little Steve having a little snooze. Um, but I did want to get this video out because I know that um, particularly one of you's asked what I thought about this candle so I thought I'd put it out there so that you guys know whether it's worth buying or not. Um, so I have used the whole candle now and I used it over three evenings. Um, I did trim down the wick but it has still burnt quite unevenly which isn't the end of the world um, and it did last just literally over 10 hours so on the website it says it lasts 12 to 15 but definitely not it lasted me 10 hours um, literally just over it maybe 10 hours 10 minutes because I was timing it each evening and um I have to say that this one was better than the Snow Fairy because the Snow Fairy one, if you've seen my other review, smelt of nothing at all. Um, this one, you could smell something. You could smell Lord of Misrule, um, but it was still quite subtle. So it was quite faint, but at least it smelt of something this time. I would probably give it a four out of 10 for scent. And once again, I kept leaving the room and coming back in and my boyfriend did the same thing. I think he was less impressed than I was when I told him the price of this. Sorry, the, shake, the phone shaking a bit. He said, what a flipping rip off. Um, he was shocked that this was £12. Um, he thought these were like a fiver. So he was really surprised at the price. What I've also done is I've actually compared this directly to the candle next to it. Now this candle here is from Beauty Pie and it's the Baia de Miel candle. I think that's how you pronounce it. I never know because um, they weigh the same. So this is 75 grams and so is this one. And this one I have burnt three times and today my boyfriend popped out. And whilst he was out, I got the Beauty Pie candle burning so that he didn't know it was lit. And it was only burning for about 15 minutes. And when he came back in, he said as soon as he entered the hallway, he could smell a candle burning. And when he came into the lounge, he said the scent was really strong um, to the point that I actually blew it out because it was um, a very strong scent. Now, in comparison to this... He said that this is probably 10 times as strong as the Lord of Misrule candle. And bearing in mind they are both 75 grams, this one is such a shame because I think, you know, the Lush candles could be so lovely, um, especially with their unique scents. But it's just too weak again. Um, but if you're in a small room, you might get away with it a bit more. But I just still think £12 is a lot of money. I would, would I buy this again? Um, I don't even know if I'd buy this again for £5 or £6, let alone, let alone £12, to be honest with you. I think I would stick with the Beauty Pie candle or the Yankee candles instead. So I just quickly want to do another size comparison for you. So um, I know I harp on about the Yankee candles, but um, I was lucky in that I got this one for £12. I got this um, reduced. But even if you pay £20, um, that's, that's, you know, three times as big as that, well, four times as big as a Lush candle. Um, and then also I got this one from um, Beauty Pie again recently. And I was lucky in that I, I'm not a member of Beauty Pie, um, but I did find this on eBay, you know me, and selling sites. And I found this one for £14, including delivery. And I haven't, haven't tried this one before. So this one has a scent of gingerbread, almond, um, orange blossom, and it has cinnamon in as well. And it weighs 240 grams. But as soon as I even, before I even got it out of the box, I could smell the scent through the packaging. So that just shows how much stronger the scent is. 
when you compare it to the little lush candle even if i paid um i think beauty pie members pay i think it's 20 pounds if they're a member for this candle but once again look at the size difference i just think they're charging too much for these candles I mean, I love I love the concept. I like the idea they're trying to make candles out of their scents, their popular scents. I like the fact that this is made out of glass, so it's recyclable. Um, but yeah, the scent is just not strong enough. Um, so yeah, I'm very disappointed with the candles, but at least this one smells of something because the Snow Fairy, seriously, um, absolutely smell of nothing to us. So for me, these two candles were a waste of money. I'm really glad I got the Snow Fairy one for less because um, I would have been totally gutted if I'd paid £12 for it. Let me know if you've tried either of these candles. Um, I've been reading the reviews of the large Snow Fairy candle. I'm not buying that. I'm not paying £35. But um, it seems to get very good reviews. So let me know if you've tried that one as well because I'd be really interested to know. Um, but thanks again for watching this review and um, don't forget I am doing another giveaway at 500 subscribers so if you're interested in that please subscribe, press the like button if you like this review and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.